Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to block all communications going from or to TikTok. And also ByteDance, because ByteDance is the owner of TikTok and we don't want any communications going from, coming from them or going to them. The reason why I'm going to enforce that block is because we consider TikTok a serious privacy and security risk. In our household, we have never used TikTok, but I want to make sure that if TikTok is using like some websites and trying to have trackers or uh, trying to have telemetry in other websites embedded and trying to enter my network, I want to make sure that that communication is blocked as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you several configuration options, how you can do it. And of course, this translates to other social networks or other platforms, other networks from the internet. If you want to block them, you can apply the same principles shown in this video. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we are going to do is implement a block list, which will block all the known domain names to TikTok. And for this, I will be using a block list, which is being supplied by the block list project. This is a very nice uh, GitHub project. Um, and they keep several lists for different topics. As you can see here, this is the main list they have. And the list I'm going to use is a TikTok one. They do provide the lists in different formats. For example, you can have the original list, but you can have for compatibility reasons, you can have the no IP or the DNS mask or the ad guard um, option there, the list there. So uh, pick and choose the one that is uh, applicable for the platform you're going to use to apply the DNS sinkhole feature. This is the first step. So if we open up the block list for TikTok, you will see that it contains all the known domains and they are a lot for TikTok. So that means if I implement this in my DNS sinkhole option, um, and basically for me, it will be PF blocker ng. And if I implement this and one of my devices will try to reach one of those domain names, because maybe they are embedded in a website I'm visiting, or maybe they are embedded in an application I'm using, and TikTok uh, embeds their domain name to try to get telemetry or connections or tracking information, these domain names will then be blocked. That's the DNS blocking option. I also have videos how to implement the DNS sinkhole option for Pi-hole, Edgard Home, or PF Blocker NG. So this is the first step. So what I'm going to do is grab the link for this list, and I'm going to go to PFSense. This is my PFSense running in my lab network. Let's go to Firewall, and as you can see here, I have PF Blocker NG installed. Click on PF Blocker NG and let's go to the DNSBL tab. And of course, if you don't know how to configure PF Blocker NG, I have videos on that. You can check those videos. Now let's go to the DNSBL group because that's where I already configured this TikTok block list. You can add uh, different groups here with different block lists. I already created a group with the name TikTok. If I open up this group, you can see just give it a name and give the description add that block list there this is the block list for the just for the uh, the block list from the block list uh, project add it there and make sure that you enable the action for unbound check the update frequency i have it on one day you can do it on one week of course and then you need to enable the null blocking logging option because this is this is the option which will show you every DNS request which is being blocked by PF Blocker NG. Because if something, um, some application or something starts to fail in your network, um, it, this is the place to look if you want to troubleshoot why is something not communicating with the internet. So we want that logging uh, enabled in PF Blocker NG. So make sure that you select the null blocking option, then click on save. And now, as always, when you change something in PF Blocker NG, you have to manually update PF Blocker NG. So go to the update tab, click on the reload option. This will do a force reload and a force update and click on the run option there, the run button there and wait for it to finish. Don't close this window, let it finish. Now it has updated our block list. So this is the first, the DNS uh, sinkhole option within PF Blocker NG. Of course, Let's go to Edgard Home because it could be that you're using Edgard Home instead of uh, PF Blocker NG for the DNS sinkhole option. 
and in add got home you can add the same block list remember i'm using the block list from the block list project so if i'm going to add got home i click on the filters option and then the dns block list option i've already added that block list here just click on add block list give it a choose add a custom list of course not choose from this add a custom list and then give it a name tiktok youtube and then enter that url in here for the block list you are using again it could be another block list blocking something completely something else but this is the option we are going to use within add got home to do a dns sinkhole feature so this is the way you add the block list here now it could be that you're using pihole the principle is still the, still the same i'm still going to use the same tiktok block list from the block list project and if i go to add lists you can see that i've already added that url in here now with pihole you make sure that when you add or remove lists block lists that you do a manual update for all the block lists so that means that pihole will pull down the new list you have there or remove the lists you uh, removed uh, remove those the, those uh, domain names from the gravity database um, of course it will do it on its own uh, when the cron job runs but if you change something just remember to go to tools and then update gravity now this is the first option right so we have set up the dnsbl um, sinkhole option um, uh, if you're using pfblockerng or you're using edgot home or pihole the block lists are mostly compatible between all the three platforms so there should be something that fits your need all right time to do some testing let's grab a terminal window within my workstation fire up our domain ns lookup tool and this is the ip address of the pfsense running that dnsbl option that's this pfsense which is running the dnsbl option so if i go to the terminal and if i want to access one of the domains let's go to the block list project block list and let's for example check if we can access that activity.tiktok.com so let's go to pfblockerng and open up the reports tab as you can see here i already have some op some tests done but now if we want to resolve the activity.tiktok.com domain, pfsense will tell you, yeah, well, it is a 0.0.0, .0, .0 domain name. That's the response your client will get. Now, if you go to the report option and refresh the page, you can see that pfblocker actually blocked access to that domain name. This is working the same way for Pihole or Edgar's Home. Let's check it on Pihole. So that means I change my name server to the IP address of my Pihole. And that's 192.168.5.101. And enter. All right. This is the Pihole which you are seeing here. If I do the same query in Pihole, if I want to have activity.tiktok.com resolved, I'm getting that same IP address that basically that that 0.0.0, .0 IP address back from PFSense telling my client I cannot resolve it, but I will not generate the, an error. So the client will just simply not be able to resolve the uh, domain name. You can see here a query blocked pop up from Pihole. If I go to the query log in Pihole, you will see that I tried to access that activity.tiktok.com and it blocked it due to the block list so and the same can be seen if we go to edgard home and the same principle the same way it will work on edgard home so here we are on edgard home and if i change my name server in the ns lookup tool to 192.168.5.100 that is my edgard home server now if i want to resolve that same query here it will also return that uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 IP address. If I go to my Edgar homepage, I refresh it. I will see the it blocked one query. If I go to the query log, I will see it actually blocked that activity.tiktok.com and it will show you some information if you hover over the, um, the several icons in there. It will also show you, of course, which block list it used to block it. And 
this is the first part. So the second thing we are going to implement is a blocking of the ASN number of TikTok and ByteDance. An ASN number is basically a um, collection of IP addresses which are owned by a specific company um, and which can be routed through the whole internet, right? So this is, I'm, I'm def definitely just making this very simple. It's a lot more complicated than that. But it is a range of IP networks run by one or more network operators with a single clearly defined routing policies. ASN numbers are basically used to route the internet as we know it. But that means that companies can own specific networks, can own specific ranges. That means that if we search for a specific ASN number, we will see which companies are allowed to use that uh, to route traffic uh, on, the, on the internet. So what we are going to do, I know that ByteDance and TikTok have their own ASN number. So we are going to block those networks. We are basically blocking all communications going from and coming from those IP addresses. The way we are going to do that is with PFSense. Now in PFSense, you have PF Blocker NG installed. And if you go to the IP option, go to the IPv4 option. And here we can implement a block for specific ASNs. Before we can do that, you have to make sure, if you go into the IP option again, you have to make sure that you have a ASN account, a account with IP info. So PFSense is able to download IP blocks related, IP networks related to, to a specific ASN and it can update those ASN numbers automatically and keep them updated as well. So make sure that this is configured, that you have a account with IP info and then we are going to configure PFSense to block actual communications to the IP addresses owned by ByteDance and, PF, and um, uh, TikTok. So if you're going to look up what networks are owned by tiktok and by dance well peering db is i find one of the most of the places which is very clear in that um you can just uh, search here for tiktok and it will give you the networks which are owned the asns which were, are owned by uh, tiktok in this case you see that the company that owns them is ByteDance. Again, ByteDance is the owner of TikTok. So there are two ASNs here uh, which are available for us and which we will block. If you click on the ASNs, you will see the ranges which are in there. Now, if you want to clearly see those ranges, there is another website I am using that's Hacker Target. And if you enter Hacker Target and you just search for ByteDance, you will see the same information there. But you will see the ranges of IP addresses and networks which are within that ASN, which are associated with that ASN. And that means if we block this ASN, this number in PFSense, it will pull down all the ES numbers in here, all the networks in here and block communications going from, uh, going to and coming from them. So this is what we want PFSense to do it. If I search here, for example, for um, TikTok, let's see what it has. And it is showing me a AS number, which have specific ranges again. And this is what I want to block. So what I'm going to do is set up that ASN block in PFSense. So let's go to PFSense, go to the IP option within PF Blocker NG, then go to IPv4. I already set up a specific group for TikTok. If I open this up, this is, this is exactly what you need to do as well. This group is empty because PFSense has an option to add a ESN here. So if you would like to search for an ESN, I'm using this option. So in the drop down, click on ESN, uh, leave the state to off, and then just enter TikTok. You will see that PFSense does a lookup for the, an ASN number which is related to TikTok. The same goes for ByteDance. If I enter ByteDance, you will see that by dance, you will see that the ASN number for by dance pops up, but we are not going to use it here. So just leave, leave this to auto. It's good to find it here and then scroll down. Make sure that the settings are just as I have them here. Um, deny boats. Deny boat means that you want to kill every session. If there is a session going to 
the ByteDance TikTok network or a session coming from ByteDance TikTok, you want to you want PFSense to block and drop that connection. So that's the action we're going to implement. And then scroll down to the bottom. And we have to enter the ASN numbers here in the IPv4 custom list. So click on the plus option. I already did that here. So you can, as you can see here, enable the enable domain slash AS. And you can see here in the description, you need to add those AS numbers in here you want to block. These are both the AS numbers we just found on the other lookup databases. And make sure that it is uh, every line contains one ASN number. Now we have done that, click on save, and then we're going to update pfblockerng because every time we change something in pfblockerng, we need to do a force reload just to be sure that everything is working. Okay, let's see if the networks are being blocked now that my update has finished. Let's grab a IP address in one of these network ranges. Let's just grab this one, for example or let's grab this one for example it is a slash 24 that means if i try to ping something in this network within that 20 24 slash 24 range let's do 60 and now pfsense should have picked up a block for that ip address so if i go to the reports and there it is i'm trying to reach this ip address this ip address is part of this ASN number. It's telling me what ASN number that is. It is also telling me from which feed it is coming. It is, is the feed I created, a, that custom feed. And now I am not able to have any connections to the networks that those ASN numbers from TikTok and ByteDance. And I know for sure that even if I have applications which, which are bypassing my DNS, uh, server because they have hard-coded um, IP addresses configured in there they won't be able to reach the networks because pfSense is blocking communications to those specific IP addresses which are contained in those ASN numbers and this is how I've set up my pfSense and my network to block all communications going to or coming from TikTok and ByteDance again we are not using those platforms because of security and privacy issues we have with those companies. Um, something that might be totally different from you, of course. But the same principles I showed you in this video uh, can be applied to other networks or other services uh, on the internet as well. Make sure that you are aware that if a block happens, where to find that information? Where can you see in PF Blocker and Pihole or Adcard Home what is being blocked? Because maybe you need to whitelist some things like if a company is using the same ASN number they have for several services, some things might break. For example, uh, if you block the ByteDance ESN, then if you're using gaming, online gaming services, which they own and host, those online gaming services will also be not available. So make sure that you are aware of that and how to find those, um, the, those tabs, those screens and the information uh, for troubleshooting purposes. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. If you have comments, leave them in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as possible. I hope you have learned something from this video. Um, if you click on the like and subscribe buttons below the video, it helps out my channel and also helps me out making more of these kinds of videos. For now, take care and see you in the next video. Bye.